we've got a little red wagon full of destruction. Huh, Piper? Yeah, we got a weed burner, propane. Let's go see if we can burn some ditches and clean up some of these fence lines. It rained a lot today, so I don't know. It's a good day to try to burn something. Won't, won't get away from you, but it might be too wet. Sure is a pretty day though. Turned out well, it's, it's been raining a lot today, but this afternoon turned out really nice. So today I'm working on building some custom horse gates for a customer. So I've just been cutting out all my square tubing this morning, trying to get a good stockpile of that. So I'm just going to weld in here before too long. So there's going to be 24 inches, so two feet tall. And these are going to be my hinges. So I just weld these like so on there. Then we'll weld this tubing on there. And your pin will just go right through that. And that's what will the gate will hinge on right there. So we got all that stuff cut out. So that's one end of it. Then just imagine your runs going this way for the gate. And I'll have some supports in the middle and some bracing. You guys will see. I'll try to film some of this stuff just to show you what I got going on. So like I said, I got all that stuff cut out. And I've been working on the runs here. So these are a couple of the runs for the, the 12 foot gates. And I need to, I got a couple of runs here for the, the eight foot gates. And here I got some end pieces, some middle supports. Um, that's just kind of what my scraps gotten to my scrap pile there. So now I got to start cutting on this other stuff here and start cutting my, my braces, so my angles. Cause, uh, I'll use that to kind of put some, I don't know, decorative look to it. It's running through the gate, some kind of angles running through there. I see, I'll, I'll show you guys eventually what I got going on. So yeah, well that's what the morning's doing today. Um, got some more rain last night. Yeah, it's pretty muddy, things are getting pretty green. If we get some pretty warm days here, things are gonna really start popping and growing. Yeah, just showing you how muddy it is. And so I like using this flatbed trailer here as a workbench. You know, it's 20 feet long, so I just stick everything up on there and it's a great work table. Slide it around and works good. So here's another project we got going here. So my dad bought this metal and we're gonna build some levels levelers out of that. And here's some other pieces of square tubing I picked up. So we got a, a neighbor up the road here that kind of selling out and I'm um, getting rid of all their stuff and he's got quite a bit of metal up there. So I've been up there the last few days or I've been up there a couple times just grabbing metal and whatnot from him. I'm getting a really good price. So can't complain about that. I picked up some of this belting from him too for next to nothing. So this is just, I guess, conveyor belts out of mines. I got two full, got two full rolls and a couple half rolls, picked them up. I picked up another roll of it. Well, I picked up two more rolls. So I got another roll there. Then I got another roll behind the white shed here of the same belting. And like I said, it was pretty much giving it away. So I grabbed it and I'm sure we'll figure out something to use it for, use it on. So yeah, that's what my morning's looking like today. Sun's starting to peek out and we're finally starting to get out of the shadow of the machine shed here. And uh, we'll just keep on cutting and get all lined up that hopefully we just go to 
just welding here this afternoon to get some gates built. So we'll keep on cutting. Real quick before I get going too far on cutting metal, just wanted to show you guys how impressive these dry cut um, chop saws are. So I've got a Diablo blade on it right now, uh, 14 inch. Let's find a little piece of scrap here and I'll show you. So we got an inch and a half square tubing, eighth inch wall. Let's show you how well it just cuts. And I got a steel max. So this is called a, this is a steel max metal saw. It's got a cast iron base here and it's pretty heavy, which is heavy duty. Just very well built. So I'll set you up real quick and I'll show you how nice and easy this thing cuts. clean cuts and you can pick it right up you know I mean it's a little warm but not nothing you can't grab it does leave a little bit of a burr there but I I've had this blade on for crap I don't know six months or so yeah pretty impressive So I got 15, or sorry, 16 of these angles cut out for the these gates. So I got enough metal cut out that I can do three three of these gates. Um, I, I got a shipment, uh, another shipment of metal coming in tomorrow, and I'll be able to finish up the other two. So for now, this is just the stuff I got up from up the road there that I was telling you about, and is enough to get me started. And so we can build three gates out of this and. We're about ready. We got all our our our, uh, our links cut out, and all I gotta do now is just kind of do a little grinding, clean up the spots where I'm gonna weld at, and get to welding. So let's start building some gates. And these are the these are the hinges that I put in here. So I said I just use this inch and a quarter square tubing and this inch um, pipe here, and just weld it on there. Because usually the lathe I'm building this for just has wooden posts. So like your normal post hinge, you drill your hole through your wooden post, and just stick this right in there, like so. And she can swing. And uh, so yeah. And I just add that square tubing here just to give it a bit more you know, distance from the hinge just so it can swing more freely and not get hung up. So I think if I would have stuck that tubing right here that close, it wouldn't give you, I think you get hung up a bit on the post. So just give it a little bit extra room there. So yeah, 
this one's done um, we got four more to go like i said i'm waiting on some metal tomorrow and uh i got enough metal to finish these two so these are the other two i've just got them tacked together in the uprights you know the links there so i'll just i'll set it i'll set them back up on there and i'll weld everything uh, strong here first and i'll come back through and put my angles in there like like i did the, with this one in my hinge and uh we'll get these three done and be ready for our next load of metal to come in tomorrow and then we'll start on the next two so real quick i just wanted to show you guys what the, the 12 foot gates look like so this one here is a 12 foot gate like i said you pretty much just add an extra section there that would be your eight foot gate and then that's a 12 foot one so yeah i think they turn out pretty good i think they look pretty pretty clean and smooth so she's this lady that i'm building for just has horses so these are just for some horse corrals so you know those horses don't push too hard on anything so you don't need a super beefy gate and these just look nice and she wanted them just a couple feet tall you know because up here so up here you know in the winter we'll get three four feet of snow on the ground and if your gates hang down too low you can't open them or you know you just have to keep them shoveled out so you can swing them and this way she can hang them gates up a bit higher you know two two three feet off the ground and then she doesn't have to worry so much about the snow so yeah like i said they, they turn out pretty good a little hinge system there and yeah just looks pretty good i think she's been happy with them so like i said i ordered i built her five five gates like this last last winter last uh early winter last year so november december last year and then so she wanted some more and fortunately the price of metal has gone up 60 to 70 percent so these are a little bit more spendy just because the cost of metal but i was able to like i said find some cheaper metal up there at our neighbor's place and made it work out for her so we got these two done and we got this one up here on the on my stands so we'll get this going on this one tonight then we'll get my go get my medal tomorrow we'll finish up the last two tomorrow i went i went and looked at a tractor with my cousin earlier this afternoon so that kind of kind of had me a little bit off schedule but we're, we're cruising right along so uh yeah i'm gonna call it a night i might finish welding this little piece up here just these top welds and side welds and I'm probably going to call it a night and go get some dinner. But thanks for watching, guys, and you have a good night. Talk to you later.